this is just a little short clip of uh, something to come while we are currently waiting on some bikes to be shipped to us because uh, yes we got two 72 volt upgrades that uh, have you know people laid down their deposit for their parts so I ordered their parts and their bikes are en route in the meantime we get to have a little fun and uh, throw this conversion kit on that mountain bike you see back there the folding mountain bike because this customer decided to stop playing around he was trying to do a little few minor upgrades but then he just laid the gauntlet down and said the heck with let me go ahead and do the real deal so therefore you know what i'm going to go ahead and make this an unboxing since it's brand new in the box let's see what you get in this uh volumart conversion stand by all right and we're back because i'm an old man i had to go get me a, a stool because uh yeah Ugh. and my knee is still giving me somewhere to the blues so i wouldn't be able to sit down here Okay, so they made it the retarded way to open up. I sure hope that's the only bad part about this unboxing. Uh, I'll try to keep this thing, this camera in focus. Let's see what all you get down in there. What do we have here? This looks like our cassette. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven speed cassette. Ah! Man, I have this little white stuff everywhere. Oh, okay. In the tube. That's pretty cool that uh, I even see a tire down in there. I kind of figured these were like the other kits. Uh, just send you the rim. But that's got the end of two. I think I can pull the tire out. What else is down in there? Some kind of, some kind of washer. I'm pretty sure that's important. Let's see what's in this box. This will be one of our first uh, standard conversions. Okay. Your pass sensor. Pedal assists. Which I don't think this customer will be using. But uh, he will have it installed nevertheless. Uh, some wire loom. Love this stuff. Ah, what do we have here? This looks like some full twist grip. I'm sure he will be quite pleased because this customer loves full twist grip. And that's what it is, a full twist and it even appears that it has its own little volt battery meter built right in and with some type of button awesome that looks very interesting that could be the blast off button hmm oh wow look at this controller pretty nice size controller not sure if we're going to be using this one yet Especially if it's a class 2 because this customer likes to throttle up hmm we'll have to see one thing for sure 
Uh, being so everything plugs up, it's plug and play. I'm going to try it first. And if it gives us what we want, maybe uh, we won't have to uh, install the other aftermarket controller that we uh, ordered for this thing. So uh, we have to see the other grip. Brake handles, of course. These are chrome. Uh, he has on some black ones over there that I already installed <laughs> from my other little kit. But okay, if he wants chrome, he'll get chrome. Ah. Okay. take that out to get the tire out here's the tire it's amazing how they send tires now man they just ball them joints up and wrap them all up i would think they would make them deformed and put lumps in them and everything but maybe not just trying to see what brand it is although it looks kind of plasticky hmm i don't know we might stick with the original tires. Yeah. I think we'll probably stick with the originals on this one. This tire doesn't look too, too good to me. I don't know. Let's see. But here is the main piece here. Ugh, ugh, ugh. This thing is heavy. Woo. Look at that. Look at that. And guess what? It's got a name on it. We moving into the big leagues now, fellas. Volamai. Volamai. And this motor's got some weight to it. So if that means anything, that means this thing should get busy is what it should mean now for those of you that don't know about motors and I say that like I'm a master pro no I'm not a master pro however I do do extensive research and find out about these things now I gave you guys a tip before I told you to YouTube Grin, Grin Technologies and watch the owner. The owner of the company is named Justin. Justin is the guy who created the Cycle Analyst. Now, if you've been e-biking for a long time, you know the Cycle Analyst in the e-world is... Uh, I can't even think of a word for it that gives it its due. But, uh, yeah, man, if any professional e-biker, DIY guy, someone who's been in the business for a long time knows that the cycle analyst has made its mark on the e-bike community. And, I mean, there it's on so many e-bikes in so many countries. It's just... It's just an amazing piece that uh, a lot of people use, even still. And uh, Grin Technologies also makes the Phase Runner controller, which is a controller that's really like that big and as powerful as crap. That in conjunction with the Cycle Analyst, man, is so much you can do with... Uh, that whole setup but anyway one thing that I learned watching Justin's motor lecture was the larger the diameter of a direct drive motor it's only applies for direct drive motors doesn't mean anything for gear driven okay only for direct drives the larger the diameter of the motor, the more torque that the motor will produce. Because for some reason, 
the further the magnets are away from the axle is uh, I guess the better it works uh, I can't explain the physics part of that but it is what it is so you can argue me down if you want come for me in the comments section but uh, like I said you go see Mr. Justin at Grin Technology Spurs because uh, that's what he said and uh, I know he's bo he's a genius so uh, I'm pretty sure that's accurate okay dope kind of phase wise we got here and they don't have to be gigantua because this is only a thousand watt uh, hub motor they're the standard looks like 18 gauge but uh, for this build it should be sufficient let me tell you something a mountain bike will not take nearly as much torque uh, as it takes to uh, run, you know, one of the bikes like Frank, one of those type uh, bikes. Those bikes are heavy as all outdoors. So this thing, I, I doubt if it weighs 20, 25 pounds, man. So it's not going to take much to make a mountain bike fly. And in fact, you know, mountain bikes are probably do at least 25% more speed than uh, one of those old heavy fat bike tire bikes. I can always have brain freeze when I'm trying to think of the name or the term for those bikes. Uh, and as it never fails, I'm having brain freeze now. What the, the term for them damn bikes? I'll remember as soon as I stop filming. <sighs> Shoot. Anyway, whatever it is. Too damn old. Too damn old to pull it out right now. Let's see, it was something else down here. What is this? Oh, little bag for the motor. And what else we got? Let's uh, here. Uh, this looks like the rim liner the liner that goes inside the rim to keep the spokes from poking your inner tube that's what that looks like to me and that is about all of the goodies that are in this box so that is it on that note deuces we out what up YouTube E world good morning time good afternoon time whatever the case may be this is delivery day for the super 73 so I just wanted to get one last look at it before it goes bye-bye uh, as you can see that's what the wiring job looks like up under there that looks at the controller Got the controllers mounted under the seat right there. Plenty of airflow. It won't get hot. Everything is good to go. We'll turn the battery off. Key to ignition, as I said. And that modified braking system. That's it. 72 volt modified Super 73 S2 by Chris's Crossing Wise YouTube channel for the low low by the Pro Pro.